Hey everybody, it's Allison again, sdlprostretch.com. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, today we're going to be going over more TFL stretches. Um, I've been kind of playing around with some of the, one, the versions that we have and variations of just to get a little deeper into that muscle as well as the glute medius and minimus and QL. So um, if you like my glute videos and stuff like that, you're probably going to like this one too because they all kind of go hand in hand. All right, let's start on the mat. Oh, if it hurts, stop doing it. <laughs> Move and resist and um, work within your range of motion always. So let's start on the mat. Um, this is usually kind of how in a yoga class I kind of get people into the TFL land. So I have them kind of sit and maybe maybe after we do something like this, which is always nice to do to warm up the shoulders a little bit, open the chest up a little bit, then we'd sit and cross one ankle over the other like that. And then we're just going to tip the knee out to the side and push this knee down toward the other foot. So that is kind of how I start getting people into, well, as you can see, it would turn into a double pigeon. You're in yoga. We're just kind of getting into it a, a more gentler way. And then once you get here, if you want to just push the knee down toward the foot, this is a much easier to get started on working on lotus and half lotus because you're working within your range of motion you're not just like forcing your knees to do something that maybe your hips aren't ready for yet and what the hips can't handle usually the knees end up taking the brunt of so if you're working to get into lotus this is a great way to do it to start let's do the other side so i'm going to cross this ankle over and we're going to rotate the knee out and push down. You can just start by kind of like, you know, windshield wipering your knee back and forth. I'm a lot tighter on this side for some reason today. Tends to happen, right? And then if you wanted to sit and just kind of push, push, and push. So you should feel it on the side of your hip, if anywhere. This is one of these muscles a lot of people don't even know they're tight here because usually we're just trying to stretch the hamstrings and the quads and the glutes and that stuff. But you know, this is a really important muscle because it feeds right into your IT band. So it can cause knee problems, it can cause all kinds of things to go wrong in your body. All right, and then we're gonna take this a step further. We're gonna come down to the mat. And if you want to put something under your head, you can. Um, we're gonna get into glute medius land next. Um, this is a stretch that I do with my clients. Um, it's, it's like the figure four. You might want to start with that one. Push, pull, the glute stretch. So I'm pushing my ankle into my thigh, pushing it out the whole time as I move back and forth. The ankle is always pushing into the thigh. So we're going to start rotating this once we get warmed up. over to the side. So I get here and I'm, I've got my arms out to the side just for support and I'm going to rotate all the way over. See how far you can go before you start feeling it in your glute, your glute medius, glute minimus. I'm feeling it just in the <laughs> glute, <laughs> in the piriformis right now. But you could take it all the way down. And once you get here, this might not be a possibility for some of you. I realize this. This is kind of more advanced. 
once you get here, you can kind of push this knee toward the other. Or toward the foot. And then you're really going to feel that TFL, glute medius minimus. And I'm starting to get a side waist. So my obliques and my QL starting to get into. How do I know? I can feel it. And then we'll try the other side. So cross the other way. Push the ankle into the thigh. So this leg's pushing out the whole time. So I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. Upper body's coming along for the ride. I'm going to keep pushing and then pulling back with my arms. This TFL stuff is also, in glute media stuff, it's really also good if you're trying to work into getting into the splits. So I find sometimes when I do the splits, um, I'll, get, I'll get to a certain point as I'm going down, and then I can feel my TFL start to just rebel and tighten up. So if I do this first, it tends to work pretty well. All right, and then we're going to just, we're keeping the foot up, and I'm going to rotate over to the side. Just kind of feel it out. You also want to think about this hip that the legs crossed over, pushing it down away from the head. And then if you can roll all the way over, just kind of, Stay here and try to push the knee down toward the knee away from you. You can use your hand to do it. It's fine. Now, <laughs> we're going to move on. Remember this one from the glute video, if you've seen the glute video, um, I think it's called um, the glute a pigeon and working in arcs. So you might want to revisit that video. But we do a little bit of pushing the foot out, the hands holding it back, and we're rotating across the body. So you can go either direction, kind of feel it out, this direction, medial hamstring, this direction glutes, especially glute medius. That's what I'm feeling. So I'm pushing out and then rotating over. There's constant tension between my hand and my foot. If I let go, if I let go of my hand, that would happen. So that's what we want. This might be plenty for all of you. I'm also, as I take the foot across the body, I'm pushing this leg away from me. I'm pushing the hip and the knee away from me. And I'm keeping my foot in a dorsiflex position, which means toes toward the shin. That's going to give you maximum tension in your stretch. If you let the foot sickle, you're going to lose a lot of the stretch. And if you let the hip hike up, you're going to lose most of the stretch. OK, now. <laughs> If you are one of those that can do lotus or half lotus, you might want to try this. I am going to put my hand on the top of my foot and then take my heel down. And then I'm going to push my knee down into half lotus. As I do that, I'm going to lean across. So I'm leaning to my left. I'm holding my right foot. It's a lovely stretch. And you could also play around with this in the cross-legged position and rotating over. See what that does for you. I've been experimenting with just lots of different rotations and movements. And then also, if, you're in, if you can do full lotus, Try taking your lotus over 
and pushing the knee away. Ooh, that's a good stretch. All right, and then we'll switch, we'll switch sides. So I'm holding my foot, and um, I am pushing out with my foot as I hold my hand, and we're going to take the foot across the body and back again. I've got my foot dorsiflex, so my toe is pulling back toward my shin. And of course, the more you take it over, the more we're going to get into this glute medius and piriformis, glute maximus, all of those things. There's kind of been a craze, a workout craze lately about working glutes, which is great because we sit a lot, so our glutes aren't very active most of the day for a lot of us. But you also, if you're going to work your glutes that hard, you've got to stretch them too. And then, of course, we could take this um, all the way over. I remember I'm pushing my hip and my knee away from me. And then we could work into this half lotus. So I'm taking my half lotus, and my knee comes down, and then I'm going to lean to the right and take my arm up and over. Or half lotus, opposite leg lifted, rotate all the way over and see what that does for you. It might not do anything. Try pushing the knee down toward the other. And if you're one of those lotus people, full lotus, bind, rotate, and push the knee away. I am getting into all kinds of things in here. Even my psoas, I can feel it. So yeah, a little bit advanced. <laughs> um, but sometimes some of these, these fussy muscles, like the piriformis and the TFL, glute minimus, glute medius, um, they need a little extra attention especially if you're a runner like me, and you come back from your run, and the next day you're like, oh my gosh, what ca why can't I move? My hips, my hips are just feeling terrible. S try some of these out and um, see what you think. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's it for today. See you next time. Happy stretching. Bye-bye.